Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. I just made a pretty cool dashboard. Um, you know, I, I recently learned how to do spark lines in a, in a matrix in Power BI, and I really like that. And what I also really like is when you really have your dashboard, the uh, a main table as really the meat of it, and it is what filters the rest of the dashboard down below. Um, so I got something like that going on, and I'm going to show it. So let me share my screen. So here's the front page of my dashboard. Um, I recently built this uh, this morning, and uh, I, I, I recently built this asset balances dashboard today, and that's what we're going to look at. And uh, you know, this is made off of a nice columnar table um, that I've been showing recently, um, but just with account balances. So it's a fully additive table um, across um, accounts, but not across months because uh, account balance is, is not additive. It would stack to something erroneous. But, um, you know, I recently learned how to do these spark lines and I really love it. It's like a panel graph of um, all of my account balance balances over time. And it's segmented by account group. So cash, savings, credit card, um, debt, retirement, house, and truck. And this is the main driver of the dashboard. Um, this this filters everything. So if I click on cash, uh, the top KPIs filter, and that's showing you that uh, you know last month. So for May, I had fifteen thousand in cash, and this month in um, June I had uh, eighteen, and next month I want eighteen. So not much of a movement there. Um, and it also filters down below here. So this is just my cash over time. I'm trying to grow it. And uh, this is segmented by account. So, um, you know, most of the money is going to go into my Bank of America checking. Um, so this dash, this, you know, this tile right here is really the main meat of, um, the dashboard it's a beautiful dashboard it really lets me hone in on on what i'm trying to do with my money um you know for instance if we just kind of hone in on um the account groups um So uh, looking at the diff, you know, I uh, added 3000 to my cash. I paid off a really good chunk of credit card debt, $8,000. Um, I did cash out a little bit of retirement, which is bad, but um, 2000 And I did gain some equity on my house and just a smidgen of equity for my truck. And, uh, you know, looking at what I'm trying to do in July, uh, I'm not trying to move any cash. Just keep that the same. Same with savings. Pay off even more in credit card debt. Um, you know, I'm expected to make add 1,300 to my retirement, and my house should gain equity of 2,400, and I should make about a 97 in truck equity. Um, looking at the following month. Um, I'm trying to pay off my truck equity. I'm trying to pay off my truck. The credit, the balance is, the APR is 11%. That's more than the stock market gain. So I need to get on my horse and pay it off. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, and uh, I love this chart. This is just the main net worth chart. This is just kind of looking at account group. Um, you know, it shows what where I've been what I've been doing with my money across time. This is my net worth over time. Uh, you know, we're in kind of 2024 land. I got my house equity um, and uh, I got a truck. I got a negative equity on my truck. I got some credit card debt that I'm paying off. But, uh, you know, overall in a good position. Uh, now, this uh, this chart is segmented by account rather than account group and i really don't like this chart because it extrapolates uh the the chart and makes everything small because 
my house mortgage and the house value are two very significant values. And it's always so much nicer when you just look at the equity. But um, you know, this this chart is now just looking at savings, and now that looks really nice. Uh, showing my savings by account or uh, you know credit card debt you know I've been uh, paying off my credit card debt so you know we're in July right now and I'm in a good place I got um, you know about 10 eleven thousand twelve thousand in credit card debt not that bad it'll all be paid off um, so this is a you know a really nice dashboard. I just love um, the the spark lines. I you know I just love to look at many charts at once that are all uh, the same chart. Just something is different about them. You know in this case uh, the account is what's different. So I'm just it's just nice and you know I I would love to be able to know how to do a panel graph in Power BI something that really pronounces the line chart, um, but this is the best I, I can think of for panel graphs, uh, spark lines, and it does look really nice. And uh, you know, I love having a dashboard where one one chart is the main driver. I really set up all the interactions so that this really drives everything I want it to. And uh, there's a lot of things that don't drive things, such as nothing drives this. You can't filter this chart you know i want i want to show everything the way it is this is a very meaningful chart to me showing kind of what i'm trying to do with my money so and then down below is just great exploration and uh, i have uh these charts that don't really change uh looking at first um, my account group balances so this is the these are the account balances so cash i have about 15 grand savings only like two grand credit card debt i'm really making a move on paying off credit card debt uh retirement uh not really changing house i'm just it's nice i'm making equity every month truck really insignificant movement and here's the differences of my accounts so um for uh between this month and last month i'm gonna gain three thousand in cash eight thousand in credit card negative 1500 in retirement um, so yeah now this is uh, just cash accounts the movement of the cash accounts savings accounts credit card accounts retirement accounts and finally property accounts um, so you know this is a, just a nice way to really look at the recent data of um, my accounts you know just honing in on last month this month next month and two months ahead um, but also showing all of history in certain scenarios. Um, yeah, this is a really nice dashboard. I like it. Um, I hope you like it. That's all. Have a good one.